Hey there team and welcome to a short little video that I wanted to put together to let you know about some field trip opportunities I've put together for this year and the following year. Again, just some preliminary plans, but some things that hopefully you'll be interested in. Um, maybe you are close by and it works out for you, or maybe you want to really uh, just take a plunge here and travel into this part of the US or wherever I may be taking the trips and come on a field trip with me. Just learn geology in the field together the way it was meant to be done. So first off, I have, <clears throat> excuse me, some, some space still available on these trips coming up in April, the 11th and 12th of April. These are trips based out of Twin Falls, Idaho. The first day, April 11th, we'll look at uh, the Snake River Canyon here in Twin Falls. We'll look at evidence for the Yellowstone hotspot, Bonneville flood things right around Twin Falls and then the subsequent day on the 12th we will go a little bit west of Twin Falls about half an hour and look at evidence for uh, some of some of the mega flood deposits that are over there the interaction between lava and water that took place here in the Snake River Canyon some great locations like Box Canyon Malad Gorge uh, another spectacular field trip so if you're interested in either of those there is uh, more details on my website and I'll show you that here in a second but just kind of staying on this slide and letting you know some other things coming down the pipe um, we've got a field trip that's full in Redfish Canyon uh, up in the Sawtooth Mountains of central Idaho. I'll likely redo this trip in the future. So if you missed it this time, um, look for that to be a, a summer field trip that shows up each year because it's a spectacular location. We take the boat across the lake. We hike up the canyon a, a mile or so, a mile and a half. Um, great evidence for glaciers, the um, Eocene sawtooth pluton, uh, rock fall events, dynamic uh, alpine processes. The Grand Canyon River trip, this will be my first one with YouTube viewers, um, but we book these quite a ways in advance. So if you're interested in the Grand Canyon River trip, shoot me an email. We can get you on at least a waiting list for one of the next trips coming up. Uh, and then this is the new one. This is the one I want to show you and spend the most time with. Um, I've been brainstorming this idea for a while, and I'd say I'm about 80% there. I don't have the hard details yet, um, but look for me to have this hammered out and ready uh, to put out there pretty soon. But the idea here is a chasing the Yellowstone hotspot field trip, maybe about four days or so. It'll be a bit of a caravan. So we'll have to have everyone kind of like move from place to place. We'll be moving east up the Snake River Plain and we'll end that trip in Yellowstone National Park. People can arrange their own lodging accommodations. You might want to camp. You might want to stay in a, a local hotel, whatever the case may be. Just everyone kind of does their own thing. Then we meet for the day and then I kind of lead the field trip over the course of the day and kind of show you all the spots there. So let me just show you kind of where I'm thinking of going and, and more or less what that looks like here. So the idea here um, is to start in Twin Falls, uh, that's not the beginning of the Yellowstone hotspot, but it is a more accessible area than where the hotspot initiates down here near McDermott, which is a pretty remote area uh, in, along the Oregon-Nevada border. So I thought we'd start here near Twin Falls, look at the ash deposits, the uh, thick lava flows that actually are still preserved here from the Yellowstone hotspot, and then work our way up the Snake River Plain. So I sort of envision the first day working from the Twin Falls area up to Arco and spending a night near Arco or at Craters of the Moon. Uh, the second day would work its way across the Snake River Plain. There's some really interesting things to see there, some lava domes, some other cool features, uh, some great outcrops here just east of Idaho Falls, and then ending up near Rexburg, Idaho. That would be day two. Uh, the third day would work from Rexburg, uh, up onto the Yellowstone Plateau proper into the Island Park caldera, which is this area here that erupted um, about uh, 1.3 million years ago, and then ending up in West Yellowstone. And then the final day, again, this is all preliminary right now, it would be to go into the park, probably do um, the lower loop, so probably go up to Norris, over to Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, and then loop back down through Old Faithful uh, and then kind of end the trip there. Of course, people would be welcome to extend those trips on their own. You know, if you want to see more of Yellowstone, you could, you know, uh, piggyback a couple extra days on it. But four days is probably about as much as I can squeeze with my semester schedule. And so that's the idea with the field trip. If you're interested in that, you can go ahead and start sending emails uh, into me. 
uh, or through the website. Those go to Amanda Joe, and she can make a list and start compiling it, those. I should get details on the website for that field trip, probably um, maybe within a month or so. Give me like to mid-April or so to kind of hammer out some of those details but i think there'll be some interest in it we'll basically will be chasing the hot spot so the volcanic rocks will be getting younger as we work our way towards yellowstone we'll be looking at some of the differences and similarities there's a lot of diversity here uh, it's a fascinating region and really uh, a bit of a one-of-a-kind area when you think about this continental hot spot where this sits here um, okay, moving on to a couple other announcements. So we went through those. The other one I'm thinking of doing this year, and this one is a, a newer thought in my mind, so it's not not probably as firm as the Yellowstone one, but I'd say it's at least 50-50 right now, and I, I've got some time to put this together. Um, but doing something down in southwestern Utah near Zion and uh, St. George, Utah, in that area. It's another fascinating area where you have the, the Colorado Plateau and all the flat-lying sedimentary rocks and all where all those famous national parks are. And that meets the basin and range where there's active extension. Uh, it's also a bit of a, a, a junction between different ecosystems. With You have the Mojave, parts of the Mojave Desert coming in there with the Great Basin Desert and the Colorado Plateau. So really incredible scenery uh, and really diverse geology. And I think we could patch together uh, several days worth of field trips in that area. That would also be somewhat like the Twin Falls trips where you, you, know, you, you arrange your own lodging and, and your own food. We just meet for the day, go out on our day field trip, and then everyone kind of does their own thing, and then we reconvene the next day. So look for possibly something there in early November uh, of this year. And then looking ahead to 2026, I've got some pretty hard dates, um, not totally set in stone, but but rapidly approaching that for a trip to Hawaii. I took people to Hawaii this past February and next year I'm looking to take it into early January and I need to do that because I've got to kind of squeeze it in between the semesters and my academic calendar here. There is a little bit, this one's approaching full. There might be a little bit of space, especially if there was a couple that wanted to go. And the reason I say that, or it doesn't have to necessarily be a couple, but someone that is okay, you know, sharing a bed with a friend. A lot of the rental homes have, you know, mostly king, queen size beds as opposed to, you know, a bunch of twin size beds for solo travelers. So I've got quite a few solo travelers that want to go on that. And so another couple, I think, would, would round it out. So if you're interested in that, again, shoot me an email and uh, do so soon because that one's filling up pretty quickly. The river trip for next year is full, but we do have a waiting list and sometimes people have to drop out for various reasons. Uh, you know, life happens. And so uh, if, if it's full, don't be dismayed. If you really want to go on that Grand Canyon river trip with me, then you can get on the waiting list and and there's a good chance you, you could make it or worst case scenario, you'd be able to go the, the next year. So just keep watching uh, my website and the, the channel, obviously, for continued announcements. But those are some of the field trips I have coming up. Um, just a quick reminder of how this all works. So we'll see geology.com is the place to go. Uh, Amanda Joe's done an amazing job of putting this all together. This is not my work at all. This is all her. Um, so you can check out field trips here. So right now we have those two April field trips, uh, that redfish one, which is pretty full at this point. Uh, but we should have a couple more of those showing up as I get some of those details set up for Amanda Joe. You do need to reserve your spot. Um, and there's a, a waiver I have you sign and just a couple of things like that. Also letting people, reminding people that we have our online store. So if you are interested in getting t-shirts or mugs or uh, stuff for yourself or anyone else, you can go in here and we have all sorts of different logos and different types of apparel. Um, so check that out if you're interested. And then finally, um, Last thing real quick here on the, the site is that a lot of folks ask me ways that they can donate to the cause. And so at the top of the banner here on my page, there is a couple of options here. There's a PayPal link. You can go in there. If you want to donate monthly, you can set up a monthly amount to donate to the channel. 
there's the buy me a coffee um, donation button as well. Um, I also have usually in, in the video descriptions of each one, there's a Venmo. If you like using Venmo, there's a, a link to that. You can, there's also a mailing address if you want to send a check. And then this may be something f folks do or don't know. And that is that you can always go into any video. If you come to the three little dots here and you click on the thanks button, uh, that gives you options for donating any amount you'd like to, um, for that video so you can also these are called super thanks you can also send it directly through uh, the youtube channel as well but i love doing these for folks uh, if you're able to donate great if not no problem um, happy to have you aboard happy to have you as part of our learning community just wanted to make you aware of these field trips coming up uh, thank you once again and as always for your support of the channel for your comments uh, for all the motivation that you give me to continue to try to make better videos to cover more areas um, i do my best with my constraints with work and family and other things to try to deliver as much uh, information on the geology front as I can. I know you have a lot of options when you get on YouTube. There's all sorts of channels that you could be watching and I just appreciate your viewership. So with that, I'll go ahead and give you some of your time back and thanks for your support and we'll see you. Thanks.